you know some people have grown in household where like the traditional roles are very divided mm. the woman does barefoot pregnant kitchen oh yeah she, you know she cooks then after dishes no matter what i like to serve my man i like to make my man feel like a king i like it when he comes back from work i put food in front of him atheism is a strange thing even the devils never fell into that vice for the devils also believe and tremble CH Spurgeon. I'll be trying to live like, live like. There's no consequence. I'm ready for change. Ready for change. Yeah, I'm really ready for change. Don't know about you. I made up my mind. Can you keep a relationship? Um, can you keep a relationship, friendship, with someone who does not like your husband and vice versa? <coughs> Mm. sorry serious can i keep a relationship slash friendship with someone who does not like you yeah so right. say there's a person that doesn't like me but right. wants to be friends with you um i think it depends the level of friendship for me if you're just a acquaintance if you're someone that i just say hi bye, bye to god bless you then that's i don't i don't really care what you, what you think about me or my spouse mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if it's a friendship where um, we talk every day and you know like you're 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 my close friend or that we need to address it for sure because mm -hmm. if you don't like my partner if you don't like my wife you know like the way i'm close with Letty at least it's like like we're very raw with each other we tell one another everything and so he's confident he's yeah just so if you don't up. like her then listen then we need to have a conversation we need, i need to know why and if we don't come to uh understanding where i don't know i guess we like resolve like the tensions then i'm sorry then you have to go from being a close friend to acquaintance <laughs> yeah that's right. that's that's what it is yeah uh, I think it's the same for me too. I think um, uh, more, I would catch feelings even more if it's someone of the opposite sex. Mm. Like if it's a girl that doesn't like me, that doesn't want to see me, doesn't want to talk to me, but then she's trying to skip me and go to <laughs> you to say hi to you. Like, is she mad? Like, mm. no, that's not happening. I think it's very, very disrespectful. And same thing if it's a guy that you know it's not even looking at you but it's coming here to say hi to your wife like that that's disrespectful and i think i would have the same approach of like you know they said hi i'll be like yeah hi um you know you just keep my my man though what's up with that you know and then depending on whether even if it's an acquaintance i think i would still be like oh yeah hi. you know you do clement is right there you didn't say hi what's up mm -hmm. with that you know I'm pretty straightforward person yeah and then but i don't think we can be friends because mm -hmm friend is a strong word yeah no for sure because every day you're going to be talking to this person and they'll be looking at your your like your spouse a certain way like bro it's like mm. you don't like my spouse you don't like me you We're know the same person and so it's it's it um and also like what you think about my spouse like says a lot about what eventually like, you're going to think about me right it really really depends like the level of of friendship you, ha you have with this person and the level of hatred also like what like what, what what's going on you know mm -hmm. yeah okay gucci yeah next I, one i hope we, we we sufficiently answered the question though i hope so too yeah. i mean i don't see what else we can say about that short answer is no <laughs> <laughs> no i cannot be friends with you if you don't know like my husband what is the friendship about mm -hmm. so what are what are we talking what are we defying each other on you don't like my man you don't like me period yeah no, so like our circle of friends is very. It's very. We have a small. Yeah, circle so. Of friends. We don't have time for drama, please. Uh yeah. Friendship is a complicated thing, Sha. <laughs> it's it's uh, this is off topic, but I'm even saying friendship is a complicated thing. I don't even think friendship is complicated. I think people are oftentimes immature, and <laughs> I don't want to mm. like speak as if I'm excluding myself for that. But I don't think friendship is a hard thing. I think friendship is is straightforward when people are sincere and honest and have the same objective in the sense that the friendships that have been solid or long lasting friendships i feel like it's been people that were in a season where they 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 wanted friendship they had yeah. a longing for a sister like i want a sister and understanding the purpose of having a sister in your life and having like maturity to address things in the face of each other 
you know, to work things out mm -hmm. and to be zealous for the reputation of your friend. Because... Mm. 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 Enough said. Enough said. You gotta be <laughs> zealous for the reputation of your friends. That's how you know a good friend. Period. Period. <laughs> That was off topic, sidetracking. But mm. I'll hand it up to you because my voice is not the best. So. Hey. Oh, no. All right. Do you think that paying the bills is solely the responsibility of the man? And if not, In your household, how do you split responsibilities? That's the first part of the question. Okay. And are there, there's the second part. Are there things that you would say is solely for your husband to do, vice versa? Right. In our relationship, paying the bills is not solely his responsibility or my responsibility. Mm -hmm. However, um, we do have things that I do more of and he does less of and then things that he does more of and i do less of so in terms of the bills you know clement likes to be a man and all of those things <laughs> so now in terms of the bills clement you know primarily takes care of that not to say that um it's his responsibility per se but it's something that he he likes to do um and then if he needs me to assist more in it he will ask yeah and like the money is there it's available but he he likes to yeah take on that mantle yeah. that role um in terms of like house chores and stuff i guess we're more of a traditional old-fashioned kind of couple so in terms of like house chores the cooking and everything i do most of it if you're not all of it he's what do you mean i wash dishes yeah he does wash dishes <laughs> every now and then although i do have a tendency to not let him do that because um i guess i would say my my love language is more acts of service like i like to serve my man i like to make my man feel like a king i like it when he comes back from work i put food in front of him i don't want him to go pour his juice or his drink himself i like Guys, to do sometimes those things it's like ah, let me take water for myself let me come know. on water come on water <laughs> let me say it's in african come on water <laughs> She wants to pour it for me. I know. Like, that's, that's just my, my, I guess, my love language and my way of, yeah. of, sh of showing those things. Mm. And then Clement is more naturally, like, you know, he wants to, to do certain other, certain things in terms of the finances. Yeah. yeah. And here he says, do you think there are things that are solely, like, your duty? Or I think it's just, um, it just happens to be that way for our relationship sometimes there 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 are days where i would you know make her breakfast you know i would make her things that she likes to eat uh, i'm not the best cook but i try yeah. to do what um like say for example like this season where she is sick um i've been like you know making, making little soup. stuff stuff you know <laughs> so um making me soup, that's, making me cocoa And then <laughs> Coco, people like don't know what cocoa is, eh? Porridge. Coco, yeah, porridge. Possible. Or if you're depending on what part of Africa you're from, it could be pap. Um, in my country, it's pap. I think in Nigeria, it's pap as well. So making that, and he's like, "Oh, baby, I'm I'm sorry. I feel like I usually do it good, but <laughs> now that yeah. I'm doing, he feels so much pressure when he's in the kitchen. I don't know why, but I find it so cute. I feel like because I'm. I'm more the one that does it. So then when you do it for me, I find it very special. Mm -hmm. So um, say, for example, um, like taking out the trash, that's my my thing to do. That's what I do. Yeah. I'm sure there are days. You've not, you've not done it yet since we came in this house, no, right? So not. it's something that I've taken it upon how, myself. How to take out the trash. <laughs> right, to do. Um, so... Yeah, yeah, but I think where um, the, with the word solely his responsibility, I don't think it is the case because if there is something, you know, I would take out the garbage. But for us, it's not necessarily in our um, day to day ordinary function that I'm the one that takes out the garbage. It's usually him. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the days. I don't think I remember the days for the garbage because yeah. he, he's very on no. that. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I also wanted to maybe kind of um take a bit of a um, other other side to this question where there are households where um you know some people have grown in household where like the traditional roles are very divided. So mm. the woman does barefoot pregnant kitchen. Oh yeah, she, you know, she cooks then after dishes no matter what. And then the man, 
you know watches tv don't do much you know well don't do much what they probably work you know like to provide but they don't do much to sort of take care of their house and stuff like that so someone that is in this position what would you mm -hmm. um someone that grew up under this umbrella or this um yeah. what would i advise how would you how would you tell them to go about it right um i would say that i am someone that grew up in that environment mm -hmm. in the sense that um my mom was definitely uh, my dad was the breadwinner um and then my mom you know had us early er, early and you know didn't go too far in school so she always felt like yeah she felt like she had to be there even when she wasn't treated properly and i grew up seeing that and i think one of the reasons why i was so zealous to want to you know to get those three jobs and i will finish school was also an aspect of me wanting to be independent mm -hmm. and not stuck somewhere because finances are solely on the man which was what was with my my mom because when we talked about leaving my dad one of the main reasons was like where will she start from? You know, he's the one that brings in the money. So I didn't want that to be a part of my life. So obviously there's always baggage for every single individual. But I think that where I would start from, I think I try to have a biblical foundation of how things are supposed to be. I think I grew up witnessing a marriage that was not the biblical definition <laughs> of a marriage i grew up seeing what a marriage should not look like and it didn't necessarily make me not want to get married surprisingly it made me want to get married but want to do things the way that they're supposed to be done you know and i'm not necessarily saying that how clement and i do things it's how it's supposed to be done it looks different in every relationship and in every marriage mm -hmm. but um i do think you know that there is an aspect of a man eh, that they like to be taken care of in some way. Not that they're babies or anything, but there's an aspect of, of nurture that you guys love. There are certain things that I do for Clement that he's like, oh, why are you doing that? But then when he sees sees them done, it's like you see how like, you know, it's the smallest gesture and yet it makes him feel like a man. It all starts with security feeling secure i feel like the things that i do for clement i would not easily do for someone if i didn't feel secure and i feel like why i can serve him the way i serve him is because i see how he serves me mm -hmm. and i see how selfless and patient he is towards me so then it naturally flows you know yeah does and that answer the question no, for sure and i also want to add that um it's 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 good to settle these things early on in the dating phase because oftentimes what happens is that they will discuss it and then two parties would think that they're okay with it but then once they get into to into marriage mm -hmm. it's like man i i agreed in theory but in practice mm -hmm. i'm not sure that this is going to be something that is going to work so you also have to make sure that if you're agreeing to it that you're going to be okay with it if you want there to be a compromise that you say it early on you need to also make sure that like circumstances can come and then maybe the roles might be different and now maybe something happens and now you're 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 more at home you need to also be willing even if you're a man you need to and let's say like your woman is now like working and then you're more you're more at home i don't know if that, that made sense no no it does make sense i think it can change in even with your health when you have your wife has a child there's so much that could possibly happen you might have to adjust in ways that you didn't expect you know accidents happen um age whatever diseases that are more prone as you get older that might happen and then you might take more of a role of like a caregiver and nurse that you never expected that you would you know and i think those are all the the all parts of marriage no for sure i think that um yeah you know like responsibilities really has to do with what works for you you both as a couple yeah. um don't don't project your parents responsibilities with your spouses because no it might not it might not work so that's why this is important to discuss mm -hmm. um and to see who your partner is mm -hmm. when when they say they're they are they are more of a traditional role do they really mean it or mm -hmm. are, are, are they just saying it to make you feel happy or when they say they're more like like career oriented is it true or is it really them saying it with your mouth because when they say they're 50 50 
Are they just saying that because it's the more fashionable thing to say now mm. that 50-50 household, right. you know, or is that something that like they really, really mean? I feel like something that we've said in our previous video a lot is like mm. the know what you want. Know what you want. I yeah. think it's so important to know what you want. And when people tell you what they want. <laughs> Don't be surprised by it too. And yeah. Know what yeah. you want. Really ready for change. 